What is going on guys? I got a cool video for you guys today. I've had a lot of comments about rattling guards on some of the Bevelis Pro tools. I'm gonna show you guys today some of the problems with the guards or what will make them rattle and how to fix that problem. Now if you look down here guys, I have my FX1 Gold FX. I have a premium guard and a standard guard and my Bevelis Pro screwdriver. And I'm gonna show you guys some of the problems that will happen and how to fix them. So first off, we're gonna talk about these standard guards. If you are getting a rattle on that, most of the time they fit pretty snug, but sometimes you'll get a rattle if your cutting blade is too close. So you can see these aren't super zero gapped, but if they were absolutely zero gapped, they would be rubbing right here on the teeth, and that's what you gotta look out for. So to adjust it, we just wanna loosen these screws. Now you can see we got a lot of movement here, and if it is all the way zeroed like this, that is when we're gonna get the rub. So we just wanna move them up just slightly. They can still be pretty close, Go ahead and tighten the screws and take care of that rattling on the guards. Now one thing to pay attention to is when you tighten the screws, sometimes it will shift the blade up like that. And we wanna make sure before we tighten the other screw that we shift it back down, hold it in place as we tighten the screw. And I'm looking down the blade right here to make sure that it doesn't move as I tighten the screw. So now you can see they are a little bit further back and we shouldn't have a rattling problem. Now if you look at the standard guard next to the premium guard, you can see there's a little more plastic here on the premium than there is on the standard. And sometimes that will cause an issue here with the moving blade coming back and forth. It will actually hit the teeth right here and make some noise. Basically what happens is when this back blade, the seal blade is off centered, if you guys look from the top, you can see it is much further over that way. That means that this cutting blade is gonna come off the edge here and it will actually hit the teeth of the guard on this side. So same thing, we just wanna loosen these screws. And what I do here is as I'm pinching the blade, I'm making sure that I kinda have equal pressure and I can tell that it is centered between the sides of the blade. You can even come here and look and you wanna make sure that it looks like it is the same distance from the side of the clipper here as it is over here. So same thing, we wanna hold it still with both hands, both fingers, both hands. We'll go ahead and tighten one, and you're gonna see again, it's gonna shift as I tighten that. So once that one is tightened, now you can see it's a little bit off. Go ahead and move it back to where I want it, and we'll tighten this one. So with the blade center, you should have no rattle, and you guys can hear this one's good. If you guys go back to my first Low Pro test, the Low Pro FX1s, they were rattling like crazy, and that was the problem. And then once I centered the steel blade on the Low Pro, it was much better moving forward. Now one last thing that will make your clippers a lot louder, actually the guards are the problem, but it will make a lot of noise on there, is if your clip is not tight enough. So you guys can hear a little noise because the guard is not snug, and that is because this metal clip is not down far enough. So all we wanna do is press it in slightly. You wanna make sure that you can still snap it on. So you guys see that fix the problem by tightening this up. Now the guard is snug on there and we're not gonna get that rattling noise. So those are just a few options if you guys are dealing with some rattling guards. You wanna check those things. Make sure that your blade is not too zero gapped. I know some of you guys like them super zero gapped. I don't really zero gap any of my tools, but I will tell you maybe an idea if you have a couple different clippers is to keep one totally zero gap that you're not gonna use guards on and you can keep one that's set a little bit close but not too close. That way you can prevent that rattling on the guards. Also a significant thing that we run into is making sure that this blade is centered. If it is off center, then that will cause the moving blade to hit one of the sides of the guards and that can make some noise as well. And last but not least, making sure that your clip is tight enough. You want it tight enough that you can press it on and snap it on, but also not too loose to where this thing can move around and make a lot of noise. If you guys have any other issues or any other fixes for this problem, or if you guys have any other questions like this that you want me to make a video on, go ahead and leave that down below and I'll work on making the video. Now, if you guys wanna see how to zero gap the trimmers, go ahead and click right here and check that video out.